America friends. <laughs> Like he said, hi my middle American friends. Today, we are doing something. So, <clears throat> we brought home some fish from the coast. And, hold on buddy. We brought home some fish from the coast. So, we have some blue fish. And we also got something new. Something brand new. Just got here today and I've actually been waiting for this to cook the blue fish. So, you sit tight and you'll see. Right, we got ourselves a brand new air fryer. Now, like you guys know, I'm not a big, big fan of frying things. I don't like all the grease and everything else, so we got an air fryer. Right here. Oh, I'm hitting buttons. Sorry. So we got an air fryer. We're gonna we're gonna try to fry up this fish in the air fryer so yeah a recipe it says that not really a recipe but it just says you know for the fish the temperature the amount of time everything else that it takes in there so we're actually gonna bread the fish batter it up uh, season it up and then throw it in the fryer see how it goes never cooked with an air fryer before never done anything like this before so wish me luck hold on tight I hope it's good Alright guys, so first things first, we have to, uh, uh hey! right here, get down, and I'm going to like wave my helper, oh. uh, Bryce sitting here is my helper, you can see his arms, you can see my hands right here, get down. so first things first, that, Make sure to knock it on the bone. Well, you gotta crack the egg. Yep. Dump the egg inside, right in the bowl. Yep. Ray, you wanna grab me a, um, a, a bag to put the eggshell in?
fish right there. Um, you are going to be careful to put the in. Be careful for the eyes. Because it so, might put it in your eyes and might hurt a lot. So we have all the egg wash, eyes. all the fish are so submerged the in the egg wash. Sit right there. Alright, I'm going to wash my hands real quick, buddy. Okay. Because I was touching the fish. Okay, can I put it in? Yeah, this flower needs to go in that bag. Alright, try not to make a mess. Okay. And then you are going to close it. I can't close it. Mm. Well, I thought it was going to be a little. I can love that. Have you washed your hands yet? Yep, I already washed my hands. Okay. I think it didn't take for a while. Over here. No, oil's not over there. Over here? Yep. Right on. It will become Marshall, guys. It will become Marshall. So, make sure to not get the, um, the fish in your eyes. Because it might hurt a lot, but you might cry super bad. <laughs> I have a way to do that for Marshall, Daddy. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, you want to throw us with Daddy. Alright, so then... Alright all right, guys, so then you have your flour in the bag. There we are. It's just straight, regular flour. That's nothing special about it. Now, whatever you like to season your fish with, you know, some people just do a, like... Straight up Old Bay, that's it. Daddy, can I Some people do, uh, yeah, hold on. Stuff. Hold on. you know, some people I mean, just stuff. some seasoned salt or just some whatever. I won't put that in. I got a, hold on, I, I got one for you. You know, um, however you like to season your fish, I mean, go for it. People. Whatever you like to do. Me, I'm just using like a little bit of seasoned salt, some uh, paprika. Um, can I do with that one? This stuff, it's uh, like a lemon something, I, I don't know. It's like got chili peppers, dehydrated lime juice, like whatever. So it's like a that pepper. I got one for you. Okay. So a little bit of this in there. It, it's got kind of like a, a citrus in there. So it helps like pop the, the flavor I'm of the fish. It always helps. I'm yeah. washing my hands. And then... Right here, some onion salt. Some garlic powder. Just a splash of this. So it's Tabasco sauce, but it's salt, but it's spicy Tabasco sauce salt. So just a little splash of that. And then right here, right, you want to just a couple shakes, a little bit of sprinkle in there. Like this much? Huh? You gotta see that side's open. So you gotta hold it this way. This. Right, right there, that's enough, that's good. And then just a little bit of cayenne. Oh. But I like to mix it with my flour, the seasoning. Um, there's a lot of different schools of thought on this. Um, mix it with, uh, you know, some people will bread it, fry it, then season it. Some people will bread the fish or season the fish itself and then bread it. I like to... Uh, oh, there's actually still some more. Uh, it's okay because I got the whole bag. I have enough right here. Daddy. So I like to season the flour. That way, once it's breaded, the whole thing is breaded. Just get a little more. Like the whole thing's, you know. So. And you take your, your fish pieces. Throw them right in here. Oh. Yeah, my flour. I'm gonna put my flour. Alright, so yep, go ahead. You want to make sure this air is still in the bag. 
and then just shake the whole thing up. Get everything. Get everything nice and coated. After it's all shaken up, everything's nice and coated with your breading. See right there. That's how they look. You take them. Place them in the fryer. The whole bottom of it is full. We're going to set the fryer for the first time. Get to cooking. So, power 360 for 15 minutes. So, so, we hit the power button. It's going to cook for 360 degrees for 15 minutes. That looks good. Looks like two bars going like that. Yep. So, we're going to let this cook. And then, but halfway through, it says, because it's not in grease or oil, halfway through, we have to pull it out, flip them over, put it back in. All right, guys, it's just right. beef. The time has we'll come. Let's see it when this batch is done. Hey. They smell good. Where is it? But they look not like some golden brown. It's nice and flaky. The thing about the air fryer though it looks like. Yeah, see it's it's nice and flaky inside there. Looks good. Smells good. But it did make it like super golden brown. What's weird? It's in the gold milk. That's alright. On my fingers. On a scale of 1 to 10. Mommy, seven. seven. Alright, so the first one she said is 7. I don't. Oh, yeah, flip this around there. There we go. I, I don't really know. Why? I mean, an air fryer is supposed to fry it, and like all the pictures and stuff, everything was like golden brown, not this like pale color. But it's. I mean, it's cooked. Alright, guys, here we go. Second batch. It's beeping. Flip this around so I can see, huh? So, a little bit more gold brown. Smell delicious. So, we're just gonna dump these guys right back on top of this plate with these other guys. Now. I think you're missing like fish has like that oily batter. <laughs> yeah, right. So if you want to go healthier, it is good. But I yeah. think I want like unhealthy fried fish. Yeah, you're missing like the oil, the crisp, and the that's crisp. It, it's got the crisp there, but you're missing like the oil and the the, the greasy. You're missing the grease. That's what it is. Because when the grease fries it, it, you don't suck the moisture out of the fish. So, number one, your, your fish is a lot more moist. But number two, 
Like you have that grease in the batter that just kind of fries in there. And you know me, I'm not a grease guy, I'm not a fry guy, but it's something about fried fish with that batter. Now, this thing right here, hands down, I think it's gonna it's gonna be a game changer when it comes to like chicken nuggets and french fries. Because we normally make those in the oven for the kids. It takes the same amount or less time to make those in the fryer. And I think that will give you that, like, that, uh, I don't know. I, I think it will be a game changer for, like, stuff that's already been prepared and frozen that we normally make in the oven. But as far as fish that we catch out of the water, I don't, I don't think it's there. Uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's there. But if any of you guys have an air fryer and you cook fish in it and you, and I did something wrong that you can, oh, no, do this and it makes your fish better, by all means, like, Leave that comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. Because I, I always want to learn. I'm a learner. I like knowing. Because knowing's half the battle. Any G.I. Joe fans out there? But this fish right here, it tastes good. It's just missing that that, you know, which I'm not a big fan of deep fat fried fish because it just gets too, like, inside of a deep fat fryer because it just gets too oily. But a pan fried fish is just, that's, it's just, it's just missing that, that, from pan frying it. But let me know, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas, any at all. And if you want to see more, like, cooking videos. This was kind of an experiment for me. Like, the, the seasoning and the breading and all that, that's that's the way I prepare my fish to, to pan fry it. Except for, like, with those fillets I had, I would have just thrown the fillets in there, in the pan, and fried it that way. But, as far as, so I wouldn't cut the fish up like that. But, as far as the, uh, the, the, the way I did the, the egg wash, the way I made, you know, season the 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 flour the way I that that whole thing that that's the way I normally do it. But if you guys want to see more cooking videos where you know I've done cooking videos before where like I tell you what I'm cooking and kind of do like a montage through there. But if you want to see more cooking videos where I sit down and actually explain like step by step by step what I'm doing, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments because I I would do more like that because I do I cook a lot I love cooking it's it's a fun thing to do. So let me know if you want to see more cooking videos. Let me know if you want to see more stuff with the air fryer. I mean, who knows? Maybe we can try some new crazy stuff. Like, try and fry some mushrooms in there. I don't know. But let me know if you want to see some stuff with the air fryer. If you have any ideas with the air fryer, just let me know. Let me know. You, talk to me, and I will... There's a good chance I'll do it. So, that's all we have for you. But right over... This side over here, subscribe, subscribe, click the subscribe button. That way, you see more cooking videos, some fishing videos where I caught the fish that was in a different video. Um, we have some other videos coming up. Uh, we're actually heading out of town again here in a couple weeks, so there will be some more out of town video stuff um, here coming up in the next few weeks. It's some other stuff going on and. It's about fall time, so fishing is to start picking back up and the whole thing. So, you know, the, the video frequency is going to start picking back up again here real soon. So make sure you subscribe there so you don't miss any of them. And that is all we have for you. Thanks for watching, and as always, God bless.